Here's going to be Clint Drake. And the number 25 on his outside, T Terry Williams. The number 27, Darren Burton. Inside row number three on the outside, Blake Sutton and Strap McGee. Shooting off into turn number one and two. Mark Simon, your current leader. Simon takes him down the backstretch. Gillis in tow. Number 25 of Clint Drake in that third spot. Coming around the lead lap number one, going to be Michael Gillis. Mark Simon, rather, than number 23 machine. Michael Gillis in that second spot. Clint Drake rounding out your top three. Blake Sutton and Terry Williams. Terry Williams getting himself a new rap. Mark Simon out front of this thing. Two laps in the books, 18.759 that last time by. Michael Gillis running a 19.122.9.941, the distance between Michael Gillis and Mark Simon. Visibly, it looks like about a five car lead. Simon, your leader here at lap number three in the books of your Napa Auto Parts Power Ride Midwest Modified Heat Race number one. Simon continuously getting faster, 18.688. That last time by, this time just a little bit faster even with an 18.554. Gillis now 2.204 seconds behind. Mark Simon, the number 23 machine. I believe this is a new car for Simon. Good looking machine. Simon extending that lead out to a 2.898 over the 33 of Michael Gillis. Clint Drake another half a second behind. Blake Sutton and Terry Williams, your top five. Two to go this time by Mark Simon, continuously faster as he figures out this track in that car, 18.433. Coming around to a white flag. No, it won't be. It'll be a caution flag due to the 99 JR. Blake Sutton spinning there in turn number four. Caution flag being brought to you by Joplin Lock and Key. Oh, and problems on the number 27 machine as you see him pull off the track there in turn number four. That's Terry Williams in the number 27. We'll get him pushed a little further in. Mark Simon is your current leader here. We are six laps in the books. Michael Gillis in that second spot. Clinton Drake running third. 27 of Terry Williams falling out just then. Blake Sutton was running fifth. He'll be up in that fourth spot. Caution coming out for the 99 JR of Blake Sutton. We'll get him lined out in that double, Delaware double file restart. Lights are out. We're ready to get it on. Mark Simon brings him around three and four. It's that line pedal. We're back to green flag racing. Green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank. As we hit that Ozark Fiber restart zone, brings him around three and four, or one and two rather. Side by side battle for that second spot. Going to be Michael Gillis and Clint Drake. Drake on the inside, Gillis on the outside. Checkered flag coming out here. That is Mark Simon taking the win. In that number 23 machine, Gillis with the advantage in that number 33. Coming in second, Clinton Drake finishing third. Blake Sutton rounding out the field. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner of your Napa Auto Parts Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race number one, Mark Simon in that number 23 machine. Michael Gillis in the number 33 coming in second, Clint Drake. In the number 25, coming in third, and Blake Sutton rounding out the field there. Heat race number two getting ready to make their way onto the track now. Starting on the pole is going to be the 12M of Ronnie Maples out of Crane, Missouri. Had to wait for their, the crowd. 
Hunter Stutzman out of Hindville, Missouri in the 668. Going to start on his outside. Inside row number two is going to be Garrett Thompson, the 929 last week's winner. He's coming out of Joplin, Missouri on his outside. Ian Morissette in the 38 machine coming out of Willard, Missouri. Inside row number three is going to be Thomas Creech in the 28C out of Pittsburgh, Missouri. Yeah, on his outside, current points leader, the number 33M of Steve Muhlenberg. Maples and Stutzman, a row number one. Thompson and Morissette, a row number two. And in the rear there, Creech and Muhlenberg. Maples pacing them around. Three and four there. Green flag as they hit that Ozark fiber. Restart zone. So green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bait. Three wide right off the bat for the lead. Mr. Hunter Stutzman making it exciting going down the front stretch. Garrett Thompson on a 9.29, already making his way up to that second spot. Muhlenberg in third. Stutzman with a good, a good lead right now as he makes his way down the back stretch. Already half a straightaway lead there. Stutzman going to lead lap number two here. Stutzman, Thompson, and Muhlenberg, your top three. Watch out for the number 38, trying to make his way up there. Number 28, C Machine dropping out of the race here. Thomas Creech, Hunter Stutzman still out front of this thing. Coming to your halfway point over here in Apple Park Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race. Number two, Stutzman out front by a whole second over Garrett Thompson in the 929. Steve Muhlenberg, another three tenths of a second back. Ian Morissette dropping back just a little bit. He's about a second and a half away from that top group. Caution flag coming out here. Thomas Creech not able to get all the way off the track there. That becomes that becomes a safety issue. We'll get him pushed back to the back and get back to green flag racing here. Lights are out. We're ready to get back to green flag racing here again. Four to go halfway through your Nap Auto Parts Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race. And number two, Hunter Stutzman gets him wound up, hits that skinny pedal. We're on our way. Stutzman out front still on that 668 machine side by side. Garrett Thompson and Steve Muhlenberg. Thompson edging them out down there on the bottom side at the moment. Muhlenberg runs good on that middle line. Not going anywhere. There's Steve Muhlenberg taking that second spot there on the lap at number five. And he clears Thompson as they make their way down the back stretch there. Stutzman, Muhlenberg, and Thompson, your top three. Morissette Maples rounding out your top five.
Coming around turns three and four. We got the white flag out. One more time around. Coming off a of turn number three and four. Checkered flag is in the air. Stutzman, your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent racing there. From here now, Fellow Parts Power Ride Midwest Modifieds. 668, a Hunter Stutzman coming home the winner, running his fastest lap on the last lap there, 18.587. Steve Muhlenberg coming in second, Garrett Thompson, last week's winner, coming in third. Ian Morissette and Ronnie Maples rounding out the field. That'll do it for your Midwest Model Heights. Pure stock heat race number one, Landon McLaughlin, number 17 machine. Gonna start on the pole on his outside. It's gonna be Carla Lampy out of Fairgrove, Missouri, in the number seven. McLaughlin in that 17 machine. Inside row number two is gonna be Dylan Bowman out of Purdy, Missouri, in the number 69 machine on his outside. It's gonna be Dean Kimberling in the 54. Dale Sinners in the number 25, starting inside row number three. Mark Summon on his outside, in the number 23. Lenny Coates in the 134, starting in that seven spot on his outside, Sean Coates. And starting in the rear there, last week's winner, the number 71, Chris Tonnelly out of Fairgrove, Missouri. Again, McLaughlin and Carla Lampy, row number one. Bowman and Kimberling, row number two. Sinners and Simon, row number three. Coates and Coates, row number four. And Chris Tonley in the rear. Bringing them around three and four. Green flag, here we go. Again, green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank. Everybody shoots it off into one. Elena McLaughlin going to be your leader. We're stacking them up. Oh, Lenny Coates has got a bumper falling off. Last week's winner, Chris Tonnelly, spinning there in three and four. We're back to racing. Elena McLaughlin going to lead lap number one. Dylan Bowen on the inside. Sinners on the outside. Dylan Bowman going to look for the lead. Coming off of turn number four here. Dale Sinners all over the back bumper. Going to take a look to the way outside. Now McLaughlin still out front. Sinners falls back to fourth spot. Carla Lampy up to third. McLaughlin, Bowman, Lampy, your top three. Sinners taking another look to the outside as they come around. Gets cut off by Lampy. Lampy wanting to get up to the front there. Sitting in that third spot. Simon here on the front stretch. We'll stay a green flag of racing, my friends. 
Lana McLaughlin still out front. These guys are putting on a heck of a show. Top four, all right there together. Bowman on the inside, gonna take a look for the lead again. Lana McLaughlin still out front. Bowen taking a look to the inside. Watch out, Carl Lampy wants to be on the outside. Lampy gonna split the sheets, go right to the inside, looking for the lead, coming off a of turn number two. Carla Lampy, your leader, Bowman wants to follow on the bottom side, Lana McLaughlin on the top side. Just past your halfway point, coming to lap number five of your Pierce Hockey race number one. Carla Lampy, your new leader, Dylan Bowman. Falls back to that third spot, Lana McLaughlin in that second position. Carla Lampy coming to the white flag this time by. Carla Lampy makes her way down the back stretch, Lana McLaughlin in two. Bowman in center is going to fight for third. Checkered flag out. Carla Lamp, you going to take the win there. Sinners gets around Bowman. Carla Lamp, your winner. Linda McLaughlin taking that second spot. Dale Sinners rounding out your top three. Dylan Bowman finishing fourth, and Sean Coates rounding out your top five. Excellent racing again there from our pure stock feature. Not feature, hot laps, you silly goose. No, it's not even hot laps, heat race. It's my first time announcing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, precursor to what we got going on next week. Eight modifieds making their way onto the track right now. Starting on the pole, coming out of Prairie Grove, Arkansas, is going to be the number 47 machine of Josh Harney. On his outside, the number 11 a special guest a driver winning last night with the Rev Late Model Series, it's gonna be Kylan Garner in the number 11. Inside a row number two, Mickey Burrell in the number 73 machine out of Fairgrove, Missouri on his outside, Mr. Troy Martin in the nine star. Able to make it back the number 18 of Tracy, Co Tracy Cottrell after flipping it in turns three and four a couple weeks ago and on his outside, Terry Beckham the second in that 718 machine. All drivers ready, bringing them around three and four. Green flag, here we go. 47 machine, Harney up to the lead, oh, real fast. Watch out, Colin Garner is outside, gonna try to take the lead, going down the back stretch. Harney and Garner rounding it through three and four. Mickey Burrow already making his way up. He wants to be included in this pan as we pan out this camera shot. Again, J&M Pallet Company and trucking bringing you these awesome hot laps and heat races number 11 of kylan garner out front of this thing 47 of josh harney was half a second back last time by kylan garner extending that lead out to an eight tenths of a second garner running a 17.842 cottrell not able to get it back started again that's going to bring out the caution for sure caution being brought to you by joplin lock and key Looking at the replay here, brought to you by Midwest Sheet Metals. Just a loop around by Cottrell. Thankfully, just a single car incident. He gets it back going. And we're back to racing here. You'll see A modified heat race number one. We're two down, six to go, lights are out. And we're lined up, ready to go. Kyle Garner out front of this thing. Josh Harney, Mickey Burrow, row and number two. Green flag, here we go. Kyle Garner gets it started.
right there in that Ozark Fiber Restart Zone. Shoots it off in to one and two. Mickey Burrow on the underside of Josh Harney going to try to take that second spot away. So make the way down the backstretch. Harney fighting from that outside, not wanting to disappear. Watch out, the 718 machine of Terry Beckham the second. Contra spinning right there in that same spot. We'll see if he can get it started. He don't like where our uh, tires place. He's gonna try to move it just a little bit. That's gonna bring out the caution there. Tough break for Tracy Cottrell. We're gonna keep the show going. Cottrell will have to take it to the back. We'll see him in the feature. Kylan Garner still out front of this thing. Lap number three in the books. Five to go. Garner, Harney, and Burl, your top three. All right, bringing them around three and four here at Motor, Motor Speedway. We are green flag racing again, being brought to you by Freedom Bank. We shoot them off in a one and two. Mickey Burrow with another good restart. Tries to float it up, but a good run for Harney as he makes his way out of turn number two. Harney with the advantage on that top side. Kyle Garner going to lead another one here. A lot of mud on that front camera. We better not use that one. Seven eighteen, and Terry Beckham the second brings her around a three and four. Kylan Garner, Josh Harney, Mickey Burrow, your top three. Kylan Garner running a seventeen point seven six five. That last time by about half a second faster. Mickey Burrow gets underneath the forty seven of Josh Harney. Not sure what was going on with Harney. We make our way through. Hardy loses another spot to the 718 machine. Garner Burrow Beckham, your top three now as we make our way. White flag being displayed there by flag man Chip Abramovitz. One more time around. 17.745 for Colin Garner that last time by. Not far behind Mickey Burrow with the 17.776. Checkered flag being brought to you by Wesco Home Furnishings there. I understand the cutaway. We got a little mud. We need to wipe off there. We'll get that at intermission. Look at this commitment to excellence. Mr. Thomas Shaw going down to clean it. I wish I could go down there and operate the cameras. I'd do a zoom in. Kyle and Garner in the number 11, taking the win there in the USRA Modified Heat Race. Number one, Mickey Burrow finishing that second spot, 2.435 seconds behind. Terry Beckham, the second, finishing third. Josh Harney and Troy Martin rounding out your top five. Tombo, we appreciate your uh, commitment to excellence here. Wiping the slate clean for our front. Looks good. Wiping the slate clean for our front camera. All right, heat race number two, making their way onto the track now. Daniel Franklin out of Berryville, Arkansas, finishing, starting on the pole. On his outside is going to be Tyler Wolf in that 4W machine. I believe he's already won one this year here. Danny Miller out of Pierce City, Missouri. Starting that 55M machine inside a row, a number two on his outside. It's going to be Greg Scheffler in that 21 machine out of Pittsburgh, Missouri. Nathan Hager, again, also a winner this year in that 55 machine. And Jerry Dotson in the 24-7 starting in the rear there. Good-looking car. It's going to be some good racing here at Monette Motor Speedway. Franklin and Wolf on that front row. Tyler Wolf does. Watch out. We got a, not a spin. 
Kenny Miller keeps it going. Good job. Tyler Wolf out front of this thing already by almost two seconds running a 16.926. That has bananas when everybody else is running at 18 seconds. We're three wide per second. Why am I not reporting that? Because I'm looking at my computer. 21 of Greg Scheffler getting the best of that three car group there. Daniel Franklin files back to third. And Nathan Hegner rounding out that little business. It was a 2.878 lead for Tyler Wolf that last time by. He extends it out to 4.340. Oh, a little smoke coming out of the 21 machine. It lets go as he makes his way into three and four. Hopefully he can get it dove back to the inside. That may bring out the caution here. He gets her pulled off, uh, but we already threw the caution. Caution being brought to you by Joplin Lock and Key. Tough break for the 21 machine of Greg Scheffler. He was running like he was on fire. They was running a little better. Tyler Wolf, your current leader. He's running 6.556 seconds ahead of Daniel Franklin. We are halfway through your USRAA modified heat race number two. Daniel Franklin in that second spot. Nathan Hager up to third. Jared Dotson and Danny Miller rounding out your field. Getting ready to restart here in your double Delaware double file restart. Tyler Wolf brings them around three and four. Looking for that Ozark fiber restart zone. Green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank. Shipping them off into one and two there. Franklin with a good run off that top side. Tyler Wolf with a much needed a good start. Daniel Franklin got a good run on that top side. Let's see if he can do anything with it. Franklin with his fastest lap. This last time by running at 18.6, 18.166 rather. Able to keep up with Tyler Wolf in that 4W machine a lot better this time. Tyler Wolf out front by half a second over the number seven machine of Daniel Franklin. Hager starting to reel him in as they make their way down the back stretch there. Hager with a good shot, looking at the white flag this time by coming for Tyler Wolf. Wolf extends his lead out to another second over Daniel Franklin. Something must have clicked just right. Tyler Wolf out front of this thing in the 4W. Oh, problems on the Hager machine. He shoots it to the inside. Checkered flag coming out for Tyler Wolf in that 4W machine. Checkered flag being brought to you by Wesco and Furnishings, 819 U.S. Highway 60 here in Monette. We appreciate their support very, very much. Tyler Wolf in the 4W taking home the win there. 2.361, the gap between him and Daniel Franklin. Franklin holding on for as long as he could. Tyler Wolf just hit another gear there. Jared Dotson finishing third. Danny Miller in the 55M coming in fourth. Nathan Hager something a miss right after he passed that white flag. All right. Time for heat race number one of your Davis and Sons USRA P modifieds. Starting on the pole is going to be the 8S machine of John Sheets coming all the way from Nevada, Missouri. On his outside, the last week's winner, the 56 machine out of Cross Timbers, Missouri, Young Lion Hoyt Miller. Inside row number two is going to be Matthew Mains in that 9M machine on his outside. Current points leader, the number double zero out of Bella Vista, Arkansas, is going to be Kaysen Harris. Inside row number three, last year's points champion, the number 32, Achilles Chickix, coming all the way from Pea Ridge, Arkansas, is outside. Going to be the 24L of Patrick Lewis. 
And starting in the rear there, Matt Thompson, the 31, and Dusty Culp in the 745. Green flag on the track here at Motor, at Motor Speedway, brought to you by Ozark Fiber Restart Zone. Boyd Miller gonna take a look to the inside as Sheets is to make the way down the back stretch there, nose and nose, side by side, heading off into turns three and four. Hoyt Miller on the bottom side with the advantage. Sheets not going anywhere. Hoyt gets a little bit sideways. Sheets gonna hold on to that lead. Has to make the way for lap number one. Lap number one in the books, John Sheets, your leader. Watch out, Casey Harris already up to that second spot. Then it's a three car battle for that third spot. Matthew Maines, Patrick Lewis, and Hoyt Miller. Hoyt Miller on the bottom side, gonna be three wide coming off of turn number four. John Sheets out front of this thing by .911 over 0-0 of Case and Harris. Harris starting to reel him in here. We'll see what we can do this next time by Matthew Maines Manis in that third spot. Holding on to that third spot all by himself. Patrick Lewis a little high coming off of turn number four. Sheets and Harris the same distance away there. John Sheets out front of this thing in the AS machine. Sheets extends his lead here in your David Sons USRA B modified heat race number one. 1 1.114 the distance running his fastest lap that last time by 18.354. Nobody touching that so far. Harris just keeps losing, losing a little track to the Adis machine of John Sheets because we are just past our halfway point. Going to be two phalanges in the air here for the Adis machine of Davis. In your Davidson Sons US or AB modified heat race. Number one, Casey Harris in that second spot, Matthew Manis in third. Boyd Miller doing his best to reel in Manis as they go down the back stretch here. Sheets looking at the white flag coming off of turn number four. Manis running his fastest lap that last time by 18.581. John Sheets and that it is coming off of turn number four. Lap traffic ahead of him. No worries though. Checkered flag. Brought to you by West Elm Furnishings. 8S of John Sheets taking the win there. Casey Harris coming in second, almost two seconds behind in that double zero. Matthew Manis in third. And Hoyt Miller rounding out your top four. Patrick Lewis and Matt Thompson rounding out your top six. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the 8S machine of John Sheets taking home the win there in your Davis Sons USRAB modified heat race number one. Case and Harris coming in that second spot. Matthew Manis in third. Hoyt Miller and Patrick Lewis rounding out your top five. All right, my friends. Time for some INX Legends putting on a heck of a show the last couple weeks. Got two heat races. Starting on the pole is going to be the 55 machine of Kenny Foster out of Spokane, Missouri. On his outside it's going to be the number 31 of Mike Gilbert coming out of Galena, Kansas. Inside row number two is going to be Zerny Vess in the 85 and a third. Or the third, I don't know how to, 85, I, I, I. Smoke Metcalf, another one of my young lions. Starting outside at row number four and starting in the rear there. Evan Pyle in the 72 machine. Lights are out. We're ready to get it on. Again, big thank you to JM Pallet Company, official hot lap sponsor and heat race as well. Green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank. We are green flag racing once again, the 55 machine on that inside. Mike Gillard in that 31 on the outside. They make the way to three and four. Watch out, Pyle shot out of a cannon, literally. Zerny Vest looking smoke right in the eyes as they make their way through three and four. We get this thing under caution, Joplin lock and key caution. 
As a matter of fact, right before we get to lap number one, we'll have an original restart here in your INX Legends Heat Race number one as we did not get a full lap in. Tanner Foster, your current points leader in your INX Legends. He'll run the next heat race. Kenny Foster, your uh, pole sitter. Looking for his first win of the season still. Sitting second in points. And Evan Pyle, who is in third at the moment, is also third in points. Kaylee Smith and Smoke Metcalf rounding out your top five. Smoke just jumping into the top five this week in that double zero machine. He is 12 years old, ladies and gentlemen, 12 years old. That double zero of Smoke Metcalf, one of our young lions here at Monet Motor Speedway. All right, we got Zerny Vess in that 85 machine pool to the inside. We'll go with four of them, Kenny Foster, Mike Gilbert, Evan Pyle, and Smoke Metcalf. Bring them around, three and four. Foster setting the pace. Green flag as they hit that Ozark Fiber restart zone. Here we go. Three wide for the lead, going through one and two. Foster coming out like a diamond. Watch out, Gilbert's on that top side. Gilbert, Foster, and Pyle. Pyle looking to the inside, going to try to take that second spot away here on lap number one. Mike Gilbert leading lap number one here at your INX Legends Heat Race at number one. Kenny Foster in that second spot, and Evan Pyle rounding out your top three. Coming off a of turn number four there. They're almost side by side. Mike Gilbert going to lead lap number two here in your INX Legends. Eight one hundredths of a second separating Kenny Foster and Mike Gilbert there that last time by Evan Pyle. Looking to the top side, wants to try to take that second spot away. If he can get some grip. Side by side for second. Evan Pyle going to try to challenge for the lead as he comes through three and four. Watch out. He sent it. What else can you ask for? Keep her going, my boy. You got this. Don't do this. Don't know. Sorry for yelling, folks. That is going to bring out the caution flag. I bet the car starts now. Maybe not. Evan Pyle trying to get her restarted there. Caution flag being brought to you by Joplin Lock and Key once again. 20. I don't want to be wrong. Over 20 years experience of Lock Smith. Joplin Lock and Key offers automotive, commercial, and residential locksmith services. And they will even come to you. All right, Mike Gilbert out front. Lights are up. Flagman Chip out from Moets gives him the green flag. We are back to racing here at Mona Motor Speedway. They make their way down the front stretch. We are just past your halfway point. Right at your halfway point, I guess. Pyle gives another good go. He's up in that second spot. Evan Pyle challenging for the lead after causing the last caution. There are three to go as they make their way down the backstretch into three and four. Evan Pyle going to try it again. Mike Gilbert out front of this thing, running that bottom side. Evan Pyle going to take a look to the outside. Pyle's nose to nose with them as they make their way down the backstretch. Pyle with the lead. 
What a great comeback story. We'll see if he can hold on to it. We're running way high. Mike Gilbert knows he's there now. He's going to try his best to hold on to that bottom side. White flag. Evan Pyle, your new leader here on the white flag lap. Oh, watch out. We're side by side, nose and nose, door to door through three and four. Gilbert up to the top side, little crossover pile on the bottom side, not going to take it. Mike Gilbert going to take the win there. That was some good racing from your INX Legends Heat Race number one. Mike Gilbert, number 31 machine, able to take the win there over Evan Pyle. Kenny Foster falling back to that third spot. And Met Smoke Metcalf rounding out your top three. Big round of applause for the 31 of Mike Gilbert as he makes his way down the front stretch here. Good, a good racing. Folks, we're almost done with our heat races, and I haven't even told you about my best friend, Mr. Thomas Shaw Jr. My man Tombo promotes everything here, Dirt, and he does it at a really high level. He runs the deal, show me Dirt. He is your go-to source for Southwest Missouri's exhilarating dirt racing scene. Join him on one of his many social media outlets as he dives into heart-pounding action at the region's premier tracks. Awesome dirt track races such as E3, Lebanon, Nevada, Hillbilly Speedway. I love it. I watched Midway last night. Good show. And, of course, you're watching here on Facebook, I imagine, or YouTube, or X. All right, Phil Berkey Bile Jr. going to start this thing off on the pole. Coming out of Seneca, Missouri on his outside, it's going to be Chance Gilbert, Tanner Foster, and John Gamble going to start row number two. And starting in the rear there is going to be Peyton Pyle in that 41 machine. Eight laps the distance here in your INX Legends. Heat race number two. Green flag, here we go. Chance Gilbert in the 01 machine takes the lead from the 57 of Berkey Bow. Watch out on that bottom side. Tanner Foster in the 85, normally running the white number one machine. Going to be three wide through number four. Chance Gilbert in the 01 out front of this thing. Peyton Pyle in the 41 machine looks to the top of Phil Berkey Bile Jr. There's gonna be side by side for that second spot. We're side by side by side. As we make our way and work a lap. Number two here, Chance Gilbert out front of this thing by seven tenths of a second over the 41 machine of Peyton Powell. Phil Berkey Bile Jr. right behind him. Eight one hundredths of a second that last time by Tanner Foster. Looking to take down Phil Berkey Bile Jr. coming around that top side in the number 85 machine. Chance Gilbert extends his lead out to seven tenths of a second over Peyton Pyle in number 41. Phil Berkey Bob Jr., everybody pretty stretched out here. Coming to your halfway point. Oh, what a chance, Gilbert. Gonna be your leader here. Seven tenths of a second that it's between Peyton Pyle and Chance Gilbert. Phil Berkey Pyle Jr. working in that third spot. Peyton Pyle running that top side. Going to try the same thing that his teammate did. Peyton Pyle with another good run on that top side. Chance Gilbert out front, two laps to go. Chance Gilbert in the 01 machine out front, Peyton Powell working, trying to do some catching up here on lap number six. Chance Gilbert brings them around, three and four, white flag. 
One more time around for the chance. Gilbert in that 01 machine. Peyton Powell in that second spot. Phil Berkeyball Jr. rounding out your top three, nine tenths of a second. This is between Peyton Powell and Chance Gilbert. I don't think he's going to catch him, but he's going to give it his best as he runs that top side. White and flag. White and black. Checkered flag out. Brought to you by West Cal Home Furnishings. Chance Gilbert taking the win there. 41 of Peyton Powell coming in second. Phil Berkeyball Jr. rallying out your top three. John Gamble able to get around the 85 machine of Tanner Foster. All right, ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for the 01. A chance Gilbert taking the win there in your INX Legends heat race in number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a bomber action. Been putting on an excellent show every week for the past, well, since they started. We've got one heat race there for your bombers. Starting on the pole is going to be the number 29 of Daryl Riddick in the, out of Aurora, Missouri. On us outside, Larry Jordan in the number 10 out of Joplin, Missouri. James DeWitt in the 930, your current points leader out of Pineville, Missouri. He's going to start on the inside row of number two on his outside. It's going to be Brandon Bishop in the 3J. Inside row number three is going to be Michael Gillis in the number 33 machine out of Clever, Missouri. And on his outside, Tyrell Jones making his way to Monette Motor Speedway in the 82X. And starting in the rear there, last week's winner, the Z66 of Zachary Riddick. Bringing him around at three and four. Daryl Riddick sets the pace in that number 29 probe. Daryl Riddick, your current leader. James DeWitt looking to take the lead on the outside. Daryl Riddick holding on on the inside. 33 of Michael Gillis already up to that third spot. Watch out, last week's winner of the Z66. Of Zachary Riddick right underneath him. Side by side for the lead. James DeWitt credited with the lead on lap number one there. Dale Riddick will fall back to that second spot. 33 of Michael Gillis in the third position. James DeWitt out front. He was out. Had a hunt, four hundredths of a tenth. What am I trying to say? Words are hard. 9.30 at James Wood out front of this thing. 22.195. Last time to lap. We are side by side for that third spot. Second, third, and fourth. Battling it out. We're going to be three wide. He doesn't know he's down there. James Wood out front by nine tenths of a second. Daryl Rick in that second spot. Michael Gillis in third. So they make their way down the back stretch. Big V8 power, motors on past them. Michael Gillis in that second spot. Zachary Riddick gonna follow that big Ford V8 power. Gets around Daryl Riddick. Daryl in that fourth spot. Daryl not going anywhere though. 9.30 and James DeWitt, your current leader. We're on that fourth. DeWitt making his way around three and four. The lead looks to be shorter this time as Michael Gillis shortens it from a 1.238. White flag coming out for your little of the 930 and James DeWitt.
DeWitt out front of this thing pretty handily. One and a half seconds that last time by. He comes to the checkered flag, being brought to you by Westcom Furnishings. Gillis coming in that second spot. Riddick finishing third. Zachary Riddick, that is. Daryl Riddick finishing fourth. And Tyrell Jones rounding out your top five.